Kevin Cassius, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. With me, I have got former European champion, Sky British Sport, Commonwealth, Irish. British Commonwealth, Sky Let's Sports pundit. Well pundit, what else are you? You're like a trainer. You're like the Sky Sports gopher, aren't you? Like the one they send to the gyms and all that to yeah, do the work yeah. they don't really Multi want to do. Multitasker. Multitasker. Number one dad. Number one dad. Loads of titles. Man City fan. Poof. Don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> Um, first of all, Jamie, how are you? Yeah, doing alright, Coops, to be fair. Yeah. Um, obviously, in a short space of time since since it happened, I've uh, made rapid progress. Doctors think I thought that I'd, you know, maybe up to six months before I was right, but it's looking like as short as maybe two. I could be, could be walking properly. I mean, I'm up and about without crutches most of the time, but uh, when I'm doing long distances, I, I need I need them to because I. I can walk, but really slowly. Um, I still not got any feeling in my left foot yet. So uh, from my ankle down, I can't move my toes or anything like that. But direct, they said it'll come back over time once uh, once my injury is healing my leg, which which where the bullet's gone through, which is past near my nerve. My nerve thinks it's damaged, and they said once the tissues around it um, heal up and it realises there's no damage, I'll start to get all movement back. So just a case of time. Are you in pain from day to day or...? I'm in pain, not from the injuries what I've got, but from nerve pain. So even though I can't feel anything or move it in my foot, I'm getting horrible nerve pain, like uh, it burns and it feels like there's someone stabbing things into it. So uh, so it's not nice, but listen, the main thing is I'm still here, you know, which is, uh, which is, th is a blessing. Absolutely. Um, Tommy Cole, um, how much involvement are you going to have with uh, this fight? Obviously, we know they've got me. They've got me the chair set up ringside. Yeah, Nigel's uh, wheeled me off his chair out, and he said, "You can sit there while we uh, the bar corners like Mickey are rocking. Yeah. We'll do the pad work." So, so yeah, I mean, the only thing I can't do is the pad work. I can sort of assess and plan all the training and stuff like that, and hopefully by 25th of October, my leg will be good enough to uh, to jump up in the ring. But regardless of whether I'm or not, Nige, Nige can jump up and do the corner in the ring, and I'll just be stood ringside. So it won't be a problem. You know, we'll, we'll, um, it'll be near enough 100% as it would have been. Um, I'll be there as as normal. The only thing I won't do is pad him. Mm. Um, huge fight for Tommy uh, against Michael Katsidis. Um And there's a few people suggesting that Katsidis is probably past his best I mean there's an argument for that he's obviously had a, a long career and he's been in against some of the best fighters in the world yeah um, he's so been, he's been in a lot of hard fights and uh, of course he, he, you know you'd have to say he's past his best mm. doesn't mean that he's still not a good fighter yeah um, you know there's been a lot of suggestion about should he be still fighting or not that, that's his prerogative you know although he has had queries about his health and stuff they've still passed him medically fit to fight so in my mind, if he wants to fight, then then he should be allowed to. You know, it's his it's his life at the end of the day. So you know, we don't want any sort of injuries and stuff. But if they thought that he was um, at any risk of injury, they wouldn't let him box. Certainly, the British Boxing Board of Control wouldn't let him box. So, so I mean, it's a difficult fight for him. Um, Castillo's can punch. Did you encourage this fight? Um, I, I I got we got offered the fight. Um, I wouldn't say I encouraged it. As I said, I accepted it. I said, if that's the case, and it's a, it's a tough fight, but it's one I feel um, Tommy can win and win well because styles make fights, and someone who's going to come walking forward to Tommy is going to walk onto everything. You know, he's got great lateral movement, good feet, good timing, and um, he's up for this one. I can see his, his demeanour's changed a little bit, like when the Derry Matthews fight came around. He sort of, he's, like I said before, he got them butterflies in his stomach, and. Uh, He's switched on for it. His weight's down. His, his, his fitness is good. He's got a great base to start an eight-week camp. So uh, yeah, I think you know the, if, the, if the best Ma Michael Castillo turns up, then and the best Tommy Cole turns up, I feel Tommy beats him on points. If the best Michael Castillo's done turn up, I think he stops him mid mid to late rounds. Mm. Obviously, there's been talk of Campbell and Cole since. Uh, I think that post-fight press conference Massive before, fight. but potentially for 2015, they both keep winning. Could set up a big night in Hull at uh, the KC Stadium. Huge fight for this this city. 
I mean, listen, Luke Campbell's a fantastic fighter. You know, he's, he's, he's still learning the ropes. The Brizuela fight, I think he's a great fight for him. I think style-wise, it's a, it's a good fight. Um, so both both guys, you know, fingers crossed both guys win 25th, uh, 25th of October. And then moving forward, I think we'll have another probably Ice Arena show. Tommy will probably box the Southpaw and um, Luke will probably try and find someone similar to Tommy. And then he sets up a massive fight for this city, probably May time 2015, which whets the appetite for everyone. Mm. Um, Jamie, I'll ask you about uh, Matthew Macklin. Obviously, uh, we know that he's training temporarily with Joe Gallagher. Is that correct to say that? Yeah, uh, I yeah. Mean, I'd say so. You know, I've had a chat with Mac, with Matt, and uh, you know, obviously, me and him are mates first and foremost. And then the training comes secondary. And I said to him, Listen, obviously, he has got to train with somebody. Joe was the obvious choice because he's he's been there with him before. So, yeah, I just said to him, Listen, get this fight out of the way and then just see what you want to do after that, simple as that. Mm. Obviously, there will be a show rescheduled for, for Dublin at some point this year, and you know, judging by where you are by then, you know, how much involvement you'll have in that is yet to be seen, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I've said to Matt, hopefully I'll be ready by the end of September, which would give me enough time to finish Tommy's prep, and then obviously if Matt um, was wanting to come back and train with me, then I'd be ready for that as well, so we'll just have to wait and see. Mm. All right, enjoy me. Well, don't want to take too much of your time up. Um, but um, you've had great support, haven't you, over the last few weeks? Massive support. Oh, do you know what, Cougs, I've got to say, I was humbled by it because the amount of support I had, I never thought I was that popular. Do you know what I mean? And it really was. I was like, I was sat in the hospital with my wife and my mum and dad saying, I can't believe how many nice messages I'm getting. You know, and uh, I said to my mum and dad, a testament to, to the way you brought me up, you know, well mannered mannered and polite and uh, yeah I'm humbled I'm, uh, you know it was, it was great and hopefully I can get back to 100% and uh, get back and I mean I'm on ringside next week they've got me down there on ringside I'm going to hobble my way onto the to the set there and uh, I'm working a Manchester show as well so I'm back to work I'm getting there slowly and uh, hopefully I'll be up in the corner for Tommy the 25th certainly hope so all right Jamie Moore thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV and uh I said wish you the best of health and uh, we'll catch up with you really soon. Cheers, Cougs. All right. Thank you, mate.